Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to do a test hand for you guys for the uh, Tried Brigade uh, deck. Um, but before we get into the test hands, I actually want to show you two basic combos that you're probably going to be doing a lot when playing this deck. And that's if you open up a Fractal and no other Beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast, just Fractal alone, or the Tanky. This is what you could do as like sort of a one card combo. And uh, it might not seem like much, but I'll, I'll show you guys why the combo is so powerful. So we're going to pitch the Fractal to pitch the kit to pitch the Nerval. And then Nerval is going to search us for another kit. And uh, we're going to normal summon the kit. And then we're going to banish two to summon our Bear Broom. And uh, Bear Broom is just really, really good for this deck just because it searches the Revolt. We're going to go into a Link 3. We're going to go into our Rugal. Okay, and uh, then Bear Broom's going to trigger, we're going to search the Revolt, and then place any random card to the bottom of the deck. And this, basically, believe it or not, is the end of the combo. Now, these other three cards can basically be your hand traps or traps, which is uh, part of what makes this deck really strong, is that you're able to just load up on hand traps and traps and have this really strong uh, engine um, in your deck. And so Rugal actually plays a purpose, and his purpose is to allow you to play around cards like Cosmic, uh, Duster, uh, um, Lightning Storm. And what I mean by that is normally you want to save your Revolt until something threatening is on the board or like your opponent's going for a really important play and you need to interrupt them right there and now. Sometimes they activate the lightning storm to make sure they get rid of the revolt so if they force this out early what you do is you just special your four um your four tri brigades and then you summon your shurig and you don't activate shurig's effect here but you will activate your nerval and you'll just search like say for example another fractal and um, so now they think, okay, they forced out your revolt, but the thing is during their main phase, when they start doing their plays, you can still interrupt them, uh, because you're going to activate Rugal's effect to say, revive a kit, and then that's going to trigger Shurig to banish something on your opponent's side of the field. So you'll still be able to resolve Shurig, uh, even if they lightning storm. So that's why revolt is really nice because it plays around like cards like duster, cosmic stuff like that. And then if you combine like, uh, Revolt with Shurig, you can uh, with uh, Rugal. Rugal will allow you to play, will will uh, allow you to resolve Shurig even if uh, your opponent forced you to use a Revolt early. And then th if they don't get rid of the kit that you revived off Rugal during the end phase, this goes back to your hand, so you actually gain advantage, was which is amazing. So that was it for the very very simple one card combo and very powerful in my opinion. Uh, next, I'm going to show you guys a. What you can do if you open up your Fractal, or, or as I mentioned before, if you open up Fractal or Tanky, and any any other beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast, doesn't have to be kit, it can, leg it can be any beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast. So that could be Diddy Crow, that could be any of your zoos, your zoo monsters. Uh, so I'll show you guys what you can do. Uh, and it becomes so much better. Um, so we're going to pitch the Fractal, and then we're going to just pitch the kit, pitch the Nerval, and then we're going to search another, we'll just search uh, Fractal, just for the sake of just showing you guys what the combo can do. Uh, we're going to normal summon the Fractal, we're going to banish the two to summon our Bear Broom again. And uh, what I love about Bear Broom is that... Her first effect is actually pretty insane, and it makes this hand, uh, it just, it, it makes this hand very, very powerful. And also, what I love is that the first effect doesn't actually lock you into, tri like, summoning tri brigades from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. It's the second effect where, after you search Revolt, then it locks you into only special summoning tri brigades from the extra deck. But the first effect will not lock you into that, which... Which is why this combo is um, it's possible. So we're going to use the uh, the first effect. We're going to pitch the random card and make sure you pitch the Wing Beast Beast or Beast Warrior. Um, because you need to have two. You need to have two to banish um, 
for your Tri Brigade's uh, special summon. So we're going to just summon the Nerval in this scenario. You could sub summon Nerval or Kit because you haven't used their, their effects to banish. Uh, so now after we summon uh, Nerval, we're actually going to banish the two. And we're going to summon our Ancient Warrior's Oath, Double Dragon Lords. And what's really good about this combo is that this is it's only been four summons. So you normal summon. This was the first special summon. This was your third summon. This was your fourth summon. And what's really amazing is that on your fifth summon, you're going to make your Appaloosa. And your Appaloosa is going to have three negates. Um, and now your Bear Broom will trigger to, you know, search the revolt and put one card back to the bottom of the deck. And now, guys, because we opened up that extra Beast Warrior, uh, now we're guaranteed to end with three Monster Negates with Appaloosa, the Bounce with Double Dragon Lords, and the Revolt, which gets us the Banish with Shurig, and it gets us the Search with Nerval. So we do have a guaranteed follow-up play. And I just think that's ab absolutely amazing that you're able to end with one, two, three, four, five interruptions plus a follow-up uh, with uh, by opening up Fractale and any other Beast Beast Warrior Wing Beast. So that is it for the two basic combos I wanted to show you guys. I hope that would, that was helpful. Uh, now we'll do a test hand. And uh, we can I can show you guys why I believe this deck is actually way, way more powerful with Bear Broom. Well, I actually demonstrated what Bear Broom does for the deck. Uh, but I think the deck's already doing well, even without that card, which uh, should speak for itself. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to shuffle real quick. And uh, let me know how many of you guys are actually uh, playing this deck now, or if you've been playing this deck. Um, I was never a fan of the Bird Up variant, not me personally. I just, I just wasn't a fan of the Leerless stuff, but or playing like the bad, uh, the bad Tri Brigade cards to protect the uh, Barrier Statue. But I'm definitely a fan of this because it's more clo it's you know it's closer to pure which I like, and we finally get the link to searcher bear broom which take this de which takes the deck definitely to another level. Opening hand Nerval, double Nibiru barrage and revolt. Um, so yeah, let's let's play this hand out. See what we could do. Uh, so we're gonna go. Whoa, that's my. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, sorry, I just wanted to flex a little bit, but no, that's not true. I, I actually just picked up the uh, side deck by accident. So uh, we're going to link one into the All Mirage. This is why it's actually very important that you play All Mirage. Uh, because when if you open up like Nerval or something, you know, and nothing else, you could at least like summon the Nerval, get your search. Um, so in... This scenario, you actually don't have... Oh, you know what? I actually made the wrong play there. I don't know why I saw that play a bit too late, but what you, what I would actually do is I would activate the barrage, pop the barrage, uh, summon your... Say, like your ram, normal summon the nerval, and then you could just go into a link two. You can go into your... Uh, your Ferrigid, Nerval Triggers, uh, let's see, we'll search the Fractale, and uh, now we're, we're going to activate the effect of Ferrigid to summon the Fractale, and now we're going to banish uh, two, to, so we have the Revolt in hand, and it's okay if we have double Nibiru, hopefully we'll get a good, um, good search of the or a good draw rather so what we'll do is we'll summon the double dragon lords here and i'll actually link these two into rugal we could have gone for an appaloosa but i feel like having rugal is better if they try to force out the revolt and then plus we we have that that bounce so we're just going to draw from farajit 
and we're going to draw into a caress and we're just going to put the Nibiru. Uh, so, I mean, I'd rather have the caress than another Nibiru, to be honest. And with that first test hand, we're going to end with Nibiru in hand, the Revolt and Dragon Lords. And I think that was a pretty, um, uh, pretty like underwhelming hand, honestly, because we opened up double Nibiru plus a Nerval, which is not like you'd actually rather open up Kit than Nerval. And um, uh, so for us to open up Nerval, it wasn't that great. But even with that, we still ended up with um, the, you know, the Revolt, the Dragon Lords. Um, and, uh, we still have, we actually hard, you know, obviously we do the, uh, Nibiru, but if we didn't hard draw revolt instead of double dragon Lords, I would have made bear broom. And then I would have just linked all of them into Appaloosa to have a three negate Appaloosa. And then I would have triggered Farragut and bear broom to get me the guaranteed revolt and to hopefully draw into something, uh, better than, you know, double Nibiru. So we could put one of the Nibirus back. So that was okay. That was definitely not the worst hand. At least we had a play. Um, because of Barrage, Barrage actually served as a really good extender in that scenario. It allowed us to make Farragut and extend. And uh, it was pretty, it was a pretty okay. You know, it was pretty okay. It was unlucky that we drew the Nerval and like nothing else really. Uh, but it was really lucky that we drew the one of Barrage. So put it that way, whatever, you know, the deck makes up for itself, whatever you're unlucky with, you'll get lucky with something else, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, man, this deck, I've been enjoying it really, like, a lot. It's just been extremely fun. Wow, Barrage again, that's uh, pretty busted. Um, so yeah, actually, Rescue Cat's pretty nice too. Uh, this actually, I'll, I'll be able to demonstrate the power of Rescue Cat, actually. So, we'll, we'll normal summon the Rescue Cat here. I'm going to use its effect. We're going to summon the... I'll summon one Karaz, and I'll summon a Kit. And I'll show you guys why Rescue Cat is a nice, nice normal summon. We're going to link two into our... Farragut... Right, and then we're going to trigger the the Kits and Nerval, and then we're going to add Fractale. And then from here, we're going to use Farragut's effect. We're going to banish two to summon Bear Broom. So here, guys, what you could do is you can either just make a four, uh, four negate to Appaloosa here. Um, say, like, for example, we have, uh, in this scenario, we have a Nerval and we have a kit uh, that we could actually discard for Bear Broom's effect because we don't really need them right now. Um... It all depends. There's two line. There's different lines of play that you could take. Uh, the first line of play is you could discard these two cards to summon a kit, and then you can activate Kit's effect to banish two, and summon double Dragon Lords, and then you can actually make a four negate Appaloosa. Right, you'll make a four negate Appaloosa here, so you'll have four monster negates plus the bounce, so that's five interruptions. You're going to activate Bear Broom to, actually we have Bear Broom and we have Tri Brigade. Uh, so I guess you could chain block here. You could go chain link one Bear Broom, chain link two um, Tri Brigade Farragut. So we'll draw and then we could put something back and then we can resolve the revolt and then we could put the barrage back. Because you want to keep order. Order is just really insane. And you can end with uh, the IO, the Revolt. And you could end with a Fornigate Appaloosa and a Bounce. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, And then this is like a million interruptions by itself. <laughs> uh, and then you'll have the six. So six, seven interruptions. Plus you'll have your follow-up. Uh, so that board was really, really, really insane. Uh, the barrage actually didn't even matter in this scenario um, because, you know, we, we just put it back because we drew the IO. IO is way more powerful than barrage, especially when you're 
when you when you have a, a IO backing up like your your five interruptions and then your revolt as well. Uh, the other scenario, or the other line of play that you could have done, is that you could have made uh, a three negate Appaloosa and then ended with Dryden't and. Um, I don't think that, and then you would have just put one of the other Beast Warriors back because you, we discarded these two for, for Burbroom, so we still would have had these in hand, so you could have just put one back for the Revolt. Uh, but I think this is actually the better line of play because you'll you'll get an additional Monster Negate with Appaloosa, and instead of Dryden, you'll get the Bounce, and you'll still have IO and Revolt. So that was actually an insane test hand. That was really, really strong. We ended up with seven interruptions, um, and honestly, it was because well, like I said, it was just the power of Rescue Cat. Um, Rescue Cat, it just got us the. Not only did it get us the Beast Beast uh, Warriors and Wing Beast, like loaded up in the grave, but it also gets us Farajit, gets us the the Kid effect, and then uh, we just it's we get rolling from there. Uh, so that was test hand number two. We'll do one more test hand. Uh, let's see, I feel like I got to separate some of these. We'll do one more test hand. Hopefully I don't draw barrage again. I don't want you guys to think I'm, uh, stacking. Yeah, guys. I mean, the uh, that was that was actually a really good, uh, really really strong test hand. IO is so insane in the deck because it's um, it's just I don't know. It's such a powerful one of. I mean, your spells you resolve your spells during your turn, and then even if you top deck like other spells, you just save them and. Uh, just gain more advantage off your tri brigade monsters. It's just so powerful. And even if you need to, you could actually get rid of your own IO with uh, double dragon lords and with um, Dryden't. So if you really needed to, you do have outs to your own IO. So test hand number three, the last test hand, it'll be the Nibiru. So we drew the, the Fractal. Fractal alone is the revolt combo. If we draw another Wing Beast, Beast Warrior, or, or um, Beast, then you know that we end with the Appaloosa, Double Dragon Lords, and Revolt combo. But so far, we have Fractal and two Hand Traps. We have the Tanky, which uh, guarantees that we actually have that combo that I that I did earlier. And then we have Droll. So this is actually a crazy hand. Um, we drew three Hand Traps, three different Hand Traps, no multiples. Uh, these are basically the same cards, but uh, it doesn't even matter because this can also search as the zoo. So we can either search another Fractal or we could search a zoo monster. I guess in this scenario, I'd search a Whiptail or I'd search a Ram. And um, so we're going to start off by dis discarding the Fractal and we're going to pitch... We're going to send the kit, and then we're going to send Nerval. So kit, and then send Nerval, and then with Nerval, we'll just search another kit. Okay, and now we're going to normal summon the kit. We're going to banish two to summon our bear broom. Right. And now we're going to pitch two random cards. I think I'm going to pitch the Nibiru and the Ram. I feel like um, having so much monster presence, I mean, you. Uh, I think you'll be able to stop your opponent from summoning five monsters. Uh, and then having the Droll and Lock is actually very powerful. Like, it's so, it's so high impact against so many matchups. And then Ash... Is good against everything, so I think these are the more, these are these are hand traps that are good against more stuff than Nibiru because, say for example, if you're playing against Dino and they activate Misk, this is dead. This is automatically a dead card in your hand, and because Dino is still a prevalent deck, you'd rather have these two cards for Dino. 
uh, and that applies to Drytron as well. Uh, so anyway, we're going to discard the two cards to summon the Nerval because we already activated Kit. Make sure you summon Nerval. And now we have the two Beast, be or beast Warriors, Wing Beasts, in our grave. We're going to banish those two for our Double Dragon Lords. And now we're going to make a 3 Negate Appaloosa. Um, and here, unfortunately, you can't keep both the Droll and Ash because we're going to activate Bear Broom. We definitely um, prioritize getting Revolt over keeping one of these hand traps because Revolt gets us the Banish. It recycles our Banished pile back into our graveyard and it also gets us a follow-up um, because of Nerval. And uh, Shureg is actually really strong because it's a big body and it banishes. Uh, so I would, if I don't know what I'm playing against, it's really uh, tricky. I would probably stick with Ash Blossom and uh, I'll only stick with Ash Blossom because of Shadal Fusion. Uh, if, if my opponent's playing Shadals and they activate Shadal Fusion, I'm going to cry that I put the ash back and kept the droll because ash would have just like been insane uh to stop the shadal fusion and then i have the three monster negates for anything else they may have also even if i'm playing against dinos this hitting misc is really good when they try to summon from deck um uh and then it generally just hits everything else so ash is definitely the safe card to keep i would say if you know you're playing against something that's going to be deeply affected by the droll then yes obviously you'd return the ash but again that's assuming that you know what you're playing against but yeah with that last test hand it was actually the um this the two card combo that i showed you guys with when you open up fractal and any beast beast warrior or wing beast which is your three negate Appaloosa, double dragon lords, and revolt guaranteed when you open up those cards. And in this case, obviously the um, extra card we have is droll. So that's a total of three, four, five, and six interruptions. So yeah, the second test hand was seven interruptions. The last test hand was six. Um, it's uh, the deck's consistent, as you guys see. Even the first test hand. Which, uh, you know, again, we opened up with the Nerval plus the Extender in the form of Zodiac Barrage. Uh, we still ended up okay. Like, um, it's, uh, this deck is just great. It can adapt. It can, uh, it can play with weird hands. And uh, if you don't open up any play whatsoever, that means you just open up hand traps and traps to be able to stall until you do open up uh, something playable, pretty much. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, test hand video as well as the combo tutorial that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.